Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3 back another kicking graphic novel review. We got a good trade for you guys today. It's a big one. <laughs> Venom by Rick Remender, The Complete Collection, Volume 1. Yeah, very cool. This is the, the beginning of Agent Venom and all the Agent Venom stuff. The Agent Venom is really cool. Uh, Flash Thompson, government agent uh, with the Venom symbiote. That's a picture of him right there. Very cool looking. Very cool character. Uh, it's dark and it's gritty. And if you love Venom, you'll you'll love this book. It's really excellent. Um, and it's a lot easier to read now that they've collected it into this. So you don't have to buy the full Spider Island trade if you don't want to. Um, I didn't. I've read Spider Island, and I actually have read most of this before, because I actually gave a friend of mine a couple volumes of Venom uh, by Rick Minder as a gift. Not the big deluxe ones like this, but the regular smaller ones. And I read them before I gave them to him. <laughs> so I actually read all of this through Spider Island already. But, uh, yeah, there's several different stories in here. The first one's kind of short. There's, like, this country that's going through an ethnic cleansing, you know how that is. We have one of those every once in a while on planet Earth here. And Agent Venom is there trying to get this doctor that can turn Antarctic vibranium into bullets that can melt through any metal. Uh, so he's trying to get that doctor, but he's too busy protecting people to really get the doctor. And Jack-O-Lanterns also after the doctor to get his secrets. But then Agent Venom ends up killing him so that Jack-O-Lantern and Crime Master can't use him. And uh, him working as Agent Venom, it's addicting to him. The thrill is addicting, the symbiote is addicting, and he doesn't have any legs. He lost his legs in service of the military. So he gets to walk again with the symbiote. He's, so he's addicted to it. It's a big problem for him. He can't give it up. And then the next story, he's in the Savage Land, and he was supposed to destroy the Arctic Vibranium shipment, but he didn't because he got sidetracked by Craven the Hunter. You know, Craven the Hunter's fucking insane. And that was actually a really cool fight. Uh, so he's fighting Craven the Hunter, and then... He um, ends up destroying the facility, but doesn't destroy the shipment. Uh, and then Crime Master figures out who he is because the symbiote left him for a little bit when these giant bats were using their sonar and stuff. Um, so Crime Master is blackmailing him. Uh, they kidnap Betty Brant, and Jack Lantern takes her, and they have her strapped to a bomb, and he has to go stop the bomb, but he's lost control of the symbiote, so he looks like regular Venom, so Spider-Man attacks him. All this crazy stuff's going down, but yeah, now he's kind of under the heel of the crime master because he's addicted to the symbiote and can't walk away from it. It's poor guy, poor guy, but it's really good, and it's, uh, it's an addicting book. I have volume two on the way. But, uh, then he... Stops the human fly who's eating people. Pretty crazy. Uh, and then uh, is there's a story where he has to go find his dad. His dad was a drunk who beat him and did all this stuff. And he told his dad if he ever started drinking again, he was done with him. Apparently his father has started drinking again. He goes to find his dad. Peter helps him, you know, Peter Parker. Uh, it turns out his dad's dying, but he doesn't really want anything to do with him. And then we get to the Spider Island stuff. And during Spider Island, his dad is on his last leg. He's about to die, but he's fighting his way through Spider Island and fighting this giant Captain America spider mutant. Uh, pretty insane stuff, but he actually does make it back to his dad in time to say goodbye. Uh, and then he has to fight the Spider Queen with Captain America, and that's some pretty crazy stuff. So, yeah, but it does have a little page in here that details what happens in Spider Island, and he also fights Anti-Venom for a little bit, which is pretty cool. Eddie Brock, Anti-Venom. Anti-Venom anti -Venom is back, by the way. Uh, shortly before recording this, Agent Anti-Venom became a thing, which is really awesome. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. But yeah, there's just lots of cool junk going on. I know this one's going a little long. I'm trying to keep it short, but this is a thick book. This is a thick book. And then there's an arc where he's kind of doing cleanup after Spider Island, you know, trying to save the city, and then he kills a dude <laughs> because they ran over a family and a security guard. So he kills, he tortures and kills this motherfucker. In insanity. Really insane. And then he has his dad's funeral because his dad did die. Uh, and Jack Lantern comes up to him at his dad's funeral and is like, Yo, come with me. 
and we're gonna go do a mission, but... So he has to help Crime Master and Jack Lantern pull off this mission. While at the same time, Captain America is after him, because Captain America's trying to put down the Venom symbiote, uh, and Red Hulk's after him too, because Cap sends Red Hulk after him after he goes AWOL. He steals the symbiote and goes AWOL, so that uh, he can help Crime Master, so Crime Master won't kill his family. Ooh, it's pretty insane stuff. And then Eddie Brock is getting all these weapons and stuff together, and he's going to become like a symbiote hunter. He's going to hunt down all the symbiotes and kill them. Later, he becomes Toxin. But we'll wait. We have still have a little ways to go before that happens. Uh, we have the next Brick Remainder Volume 2, and then I think uh, another volume, and then we get Toxin. Okay, so we get some history on this current jack-o'-lantern. Because there were some other jack o lanterns before him, but he killed them all. Uh, and then it turns out the thing they were supposed to get is the Toxin Symbiote. And Venom tries to destroy it, he loses control, but the Toxin Symbiote ends up escaping with jack o lantern and they, he says they're even and won't destroy his family. And then they included another story, it's like a four-parter, about Venom Pool. It's a Venom Deadpool story from another universe. And I honestly didn't like it. I did not like this Venom Deadpool story. It was very forced. Uh... There were some parts of it that were decent commentary on comics and stuff, but... Mm, mm, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It was forced. It was like, oh, Venom's popular. Oh, Deadpool's popular. Let's crush them together. I haven't read Black and Black, but... I mean, it's probably better than that. But this... Uh, that Venom pool story in the back wasn't very good. So yeah, collects Venom 2011, 1 through 12, and Venom Deadpool, what if? Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm going to read you the back of the box, just not back of the box, back of the thing, because uh, that's just something I started doing. Flash Thompson is Spider-Man's biggest fan. The hero worship inspired him to join the army where he became a decorated war hero, and though he lost his legs, Flash never lost his dignity or his desire to serve. Now the government has offered him a chance to don the alien Venom symbiote and be a hero once again. Flash Thompson is Venom, the government's most, most lethal special operative. But Flash soon finds himself losing control of his own mind to the symbiote, and when his nemesis, Jack O'Lantern, Black Mouth Flash, and the serving the Merciless Crime Master, can Venom complete his mission and save his loved ones? Plus, what if the Venom symbiote bonded with Deadpool? Rick Remender's Gripping Run is collected in two volumes. Yeah, so we got uh, it's illustrated by Tony Moore, Tom Fowler, Stefani Casilli, uh, Lon Medina, and Sean Mole. Uh, it's very good. If, if you like more mature stories, uh, it's dark, it's anti hero stuff, you know. Uh, anti heroes are pretty cool. <laughs> Definitely check out Venom by Rick Remender, uh, the Complete Collection, Volume 1. It's cheaper to just get the Complete Collections. I'm going to do the same thing for Superior Spider-Man. I read all the single issues for Superior Spider-Man, but it was good enough that I really want to get the rest of it. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. But that's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all later.